This is a story all about how my music and lit turned upside down And I'd like to take a minute, just sit, oh please, I'll tell you about music and lit in the 1920s In the United States of America, born and raised, I went to dance halls, speakeasies, and broadways Chilling out, listening to that musical jazz jive with moves like the shimmy, turkey, trot, and monkey glide until Ernest Newman, who was a music critic, started making trouble with the jazz music. Paul Wyman argued jazz was a good musical force, and now we know which view of jazz to get scores. Meanwhile, Broadway had 50 new musicals in one season. The new artistic development in theater was the reason. The lights of Broadway lit up the night with its splash of colors and dazzling lights. Front row seat to the Broadway show. Laughing and smiling with the rest of my row. Is this what the Broadway shows are like? Hmm, this might be alright. The hundreds of musicals and comedies debuted on Broadway in the early 20s were like Eugene O'Neill's Harry Ape. Man, Broadway in the 20s was really great. Well, the Harlem Renaissance, all these books came out, and Zora Neale Hurston knew what it's about. There was Homes of Harlem by Claude McKay, and George Shulier wrote Slaves Today. Things like, I don't want to be judged yet, I just got free, and hopefully the poetry will make it disappear. Look for some 20s authors and some that came near. Were F. Scott Fitzgerald and Lewis Sinclair. If anything, I'd say that these writers were rare, but I thought, nah, forget it. Rob Frost to Bel Air. The First World War sure left a crater. The U.S. yelled to the commies, your reds, smile you later. Spiritual willingness and frustration. Winnie the Pooh came out, and there was naturalism. Looked at the 20s, lit, and it was hardly scarce. So if you love books, throw your hands in the air.